the Muji. So Muji is the opening, opening stance. That's the first form. So this is why we pay so much attention to the Vuji. Out of Vuji came about the yin and the yang. Out of nothingness came about the empty and the solid forces. Okay, very gently now. We start to raise our arms, slow and easy, up to shoulder level. Breathing in, just up to shoulder level. But not just check yourself, you know, just, and allowing your elbows to flex. We start to diagonally press downwards, like you're pressing a basketball or a hemisphere. And drop your hands down. We do that once more. Just being aware not to overshoot too much and strain your shoulders, okay? At shoulder level, we're going to stop. I mean, pause and, you know, come inwards. Breathing in, raise your arms up to shoulder level. Just keeping your arms relaxed, allowing your elbows to flex and diagonally pressing down. Pressing down all the way down to the lower dunking level. Holding for a few moments and dropping your hand down. Now I'm going to just ask Matthew T to come here. Come. This is Matthew. Hi. Okay, Matthew T, as he's called. Come here to this position. And yeah, let's just see you do this slowly. Coming into position, breathing in, opening form. We go on, flexing at the elbows and pressing down. That's nice, hold for a few seconds. So it's almost as if you press down and you're holding a basketball at the lower dunking level. Your hands are soft, fingers need to be just relaxed. Drop your hands down and do that once again. Okay, go on, breathe in. Gently raise your arms up at shoulder level. Allow your elbows to flex. Don't stop, okay? Don't stop your moments. Let it be. See, your elbows should not go outwards. Okay? I just want to explain that once more. And the shoulders are relaxed. Keep pressing. And this is too close to the body. Okay? So I'm just going to just relax and feel as if you're a puppet. Okay? I'm going to guide you on one hand. You just take the other hand also, likewise. Breathing in, raising your arms up to shoulder level. Breathing out at shoulder level, allowing your elbows to flex and softly pressing down. That's it, keep a distance. And you're pressing downwards. Okay, you're doing good. Relax once more. Okay, let it be fluid. We'll do it together now. Chi. Breathing in, raising your arms up to shoulder level without a pause, just continuous flow. Just feel that fluidity as you come down and pause. See, try not to get your hand too close to your body, then you're constricting yourself. Okay, so when you come down itself, you know, relax from here. When you pull down, it's like you're pressing down and pinning a basketball in front of you. Okay, drop your hands down once again. Okay, if you did this, if I showed this fast, it is boom, I did this down. Okay, we're doing that fluidly, softly, slowly. This is the most important form, I would say. Okay, let's do this once again. Breathing in. Gently raise your arms up. Breathing out, allowing your elbows to flex and diagonally press down. Hold for a few seconds. So when you complete this, see your fingers ought not to be looking downwards. You're settling on the wrist. Keep, okay, but, but relax. Remember you're holding a basketball, okay? I'm giving a lot of instructions for a beginner, okay? But, you know, just making sure you have these energy points here. So when you're pressing down, it's like you're pinning and holding a ball down. In all softness, but you're just keeping it pinned down. 
So, and your fingers are looking skywards. Okay? Relax. We do that again. Chi. Breathing in. Feel that gentle flow as you raise your arms up. Breathing out. Gently press down. Hold for a few seconds. Just pay attention to your fingers. Drop them in. The more relaxed you are, the more number of times you repeat, in fact, the more relaxed you get. In breath, out breath. Drop down again. In breath, out breath. See, it's coming much more fluid. Very nice. Hold for a few seconds. Okay, so when you pin this down, okay, just you know, you know, just if I brought my hand underneath, don't let my hand go push you upwards. Okay, don't allow me to. This is just to show you now. I don't know. Push downwards, push downwards, push. So if I try to take this up, see when you use this point to press down, there's a lot of lot more of energy and power. If you had it straight like this, for instance, like you did earlier, it's easy for me to take it up. Okay, there's a lot more of power that comes from this. So we are also energizing these points. Okay, thank you. I'll call you back. <coughs> He's doing good. <coughs> okay, so now let's just do a little work on um, you know, I'm just trying to get the angle right on the footwork. So here it is vital that, you know, the first of all, that the transfer of weight is slow, gentle, smooth and easy. Okay, so as I pivot, I'm just going to demonstrate once. In this position, my weight is evenly distributed on both legs. I'm very gradually going to empty out weight from the left into the right. Okay, making this the yang and this the yin, the empty and the solid forces. And remember that Tai Chi is dynamic. So throughout our movements, we will be moving, you know, back and forth, yin and yang. There's a constant interplay of the yin and the yang. So here, when we begin, we start to empty out weight into the right as we pivot and sink. Shifting weight to the right, pointing your knee forward softly. That's the first part of it. Okay, let's just do that again and I'll get Madhukuti to do that as well. Vinod, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, let's do this once more, the footwork. Breathing in, shifting your weight to the right. Okay, and making sure that See, your body does not have to turn too much because remember, you're keeping your focus on your opponent in front. Okay, so you don't want to turn away too much. You're just very gently turning at the waist, but your gaze is still forward. Okay, let's try that once more and then I will watch both of you do it. Okay, with breathing in, you can even place your hands at the waist. As you pivot 45 degrees, you also transfer weight forward, on, I mean, onto the right leg. Okay, then this becomes easy to extend out. Making sure that you're just extending forward and you're maintaining a shoulder width distance. Place it 1% down. Your weight is predominantly on the right now. And gradually, as you transfer weight forward, your left leg becomes a yang. The right leg is again. Okay, so the weight is predominantly on the left now, making sure that your knee is on par with the toes, not overshooting, not staying behind. If you have to get the benefit, you have to activate it a bit, pushing forward. And for those of you who have any knee conditions, make sure that you begin with a small stance. Even this would do. As long as you understand and work on the interplay of the yin and the yang. Okay, so Madhukuti, come. Okay, just stay here so that we can also see your feet. 
inside of it here okay so right then you can place your hands on the waist or just let it be as it is okay so pivoting gently and transferring weight on to the right leg okay and ready to lift this off we do that once more okay as you pivot you also sink okay and shift your weight to the right gently pivoting keeping your body erect your spine erect as you come here nice we do this once more we know this may seem like the basics but this is what applies to every form that we do it gently in awareness okay completely so once more pivoting and transferring weight very gently to the right the right is now the yang just extend the left straight forward soft lat one percent weight on the heel turn the foot slightly inwards and your waist looking forward gently push your knee forward and you shift a little bit forward very nice okay no lifting off the back leg okay once more once more let's do that together pivoting transferring weight to the right gently extending the left leg heel down soft turn slightly and very gently in a flowing manner making sure that that leg should not lift up that heel should not lift up put that leg down yes see okay just to explain this throughout your movements you know if you put your if you start to raise this up you don't have balance you can just fall okay and one of the ways to test it is also just go forward and turn and turn and stay here so turn and watch me in front of me okay yeah so if you came and step forward okay step forward with your right uh, left your left leg forward sorry come forward come forward just just come forward okay so if i did bring your hands out if I did what you did and I did this, you know, and I came here, now push me. See, I don't have much balance. Okay, whereas when I am rooted, okay, and I step forward, both my feet are rooted to the ground. And in this position, you try to push me with all your might. Okay, I am rooted. I cannot be thrown off very easily. You get it? So this is important. It's called the bow stance. And throughout our movements, we would be doing that without ensure that you have understood that. Uh, right. Thank you. That's okay. You can just kill him. Try, try it once more. So we do the full thing, and then I'm going to work on your your form that you work. Any of the forms that you want to work on. Okay. So for today, this is what I would like us to do. So I'm just going to change angle a little bit. So you're also seeing it from a different angle the opening form that we did breathing in raising your arms up to shoulder level at shoulder level allowing your elbows to flex and very gently and softly pressing down all the way to the lower dantian level okay so from here we just did the footwork separately pivoting and transferring weight very gently to the right making sure you have a shoulder width distance land soft turn gently pushing forward bringing your knee in and your entire frame forward okay so we could even do a little a small little hand movement so generally we go with the leg first and then we also incorporate hand movements. Once you've got your stability, your balance, once you've got the fluidity in your movements, it becomes easier to uh, incorporate the hand movements, which we will also break up and do, but just to demonstrate to you. As I breathe in, I circle out, I ward off, I step and as I breathe out, I come in. We don't even need to focus on breath with Tai Chi, it is inbuilt. It's natural. Okay, so from here, one, I pivot, I transfer weight my, to my right, I step forward, coming into the lower dantian, from the lower dantian, I push out up to the solar plexus. Okay, once we get that, 
we also work step by step on both hands. So this is like I'm warding off a punch using this side of my hand. Okay, and this one is also warding off say a weapon or something that is coming to me. So there are two things happening simultaneously. Someone is coming to me in a punch and he's also wielding a weapon. So I just want to from the opening form, from the opening stance to the opening form and grasping the peacock's tail. Okay, so I start this again to just show you. Breathing in and breathing out. And then opening out, I come in, step soft, turn and push forward. This is the first ward off. Okay, do it now in this angle. <clears throat> Let's just repeat it together. Okay, coming into Wuji. Breathing in, raising your arms up to shoulder level. Breathing out, allowing your elbows to flex and softly and gently pressing down all the way to the lower down to your level. Here I ward off. As I sink, shifting my weight to the right, I come in, step soft, turn, and push forward. Okay, so that's what we'll do for today. And uh, you know, now I will also give you your form. I don't know if it's uh, got cut off. Middle. <coughs> I think it stopped. 